Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your four month predictive tarot reading. This is for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it is a tarot reading for the next four months, May, June, July, and August. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Monday and then again on Friday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days. You can check a reading from a different part of your chart, or you could even look around on the Monday readings because those are a different format every week. They're a different type of reading, and so there's lots of variety there. Thanks to everyone who's been subscribing and hitting that like button and just watching the readings in general. I really appreciate your support, and I send you my love. I think of you every day and appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to subscribe. Then you'll know when anything new is posted. So let's begin and get the messages for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Had a card fall out. What does Libra need to know about the next four months, please? What advice do you have for Libra about the next four months? Okay. All right, so we will... I've got one of the clarifiers because that's how we're going to do that. And um, we're going to start off and we'll go month by month, May, June, July, August, and we'll get the clarifiers. Then we'll do our Angel Answers Oracle cards. And we're going to have a message from Louise Hay today. So May begins with the Five of Wands. You've got the Magician, the King of Cups, and Judgment. I haven't seen Judgment in a while. I'm glad to see it. June, you've got the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of, Cu of Swords, excuse me, and the Page of Swords. July, you have the Star, the Queen of Wands, the Devil, and the Four of Swords. Into August, you've got the Moon, interesting, right after the Star, because those come in order. You've got the Hanged Man, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Um, I just find that very interesting. So on the bottom of the deck, we take the bottom three normally, but since the King of Wands wanted to join us, we're going to include that. So you've got an interesting mix of energies here, don't you? For In terms of clarifying, it's like, well, you could have made this more balanced spirit. <laughs> but what it really is telling you is just to let go. You know, the tower comes in, it's that let go or be dragged. We It's the universe answering your heart. And so what a lot of people get caught up in is they don't have mind-heart coherence. And so their mind or their brain takes a day shift and the heart takes the night. And so we think that we're calling towards us our desires through what we say and think. But if your heart doesn't agree, your heart whispers the truth and the, the universe will send you what your heart asks for. So some of you had a very strong desire here and it's all about following that. Now the Queen of Pentacles brings in love, stability, financial security, and really a love of your home, of your surroundings, of your environment. It's also, too, about being in, involved in your community. For some of you, it may mean volunteer work that's really lifts your vibration, but it also connects you with people. And the King of Wands is that go-getter energy. That's the energy that says you can, you have the most creative ideas in the world, and you're going to let everybody know about them. There's nothing that will stop you. The King of Wands is a, is that initiator, but it's also an energy full of charisma. So anything that you're needing to let go of, or even if it doesn't feel like it, you know, it's time to let go of it and let these other beautiful characteristics shine through. The Tower doesn't come in to take anything from you without bringing something better anyway. So it doesn't leave you in a deficit ever. So you have here Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn. So if you're, if you have a relationship or a specific person in mind, they're here. You have all the elements really with the magician. But as I look at this, you do have quite a bit of air. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You've got water and fire here too. Um, yeah, you don't have a lot of earth really, only in the clarifiers. So you begin here with the five of wands okay aries leo sag and this is a lower level conflict in may i do feel like it's fairly small though in terms of the other cards that you have showing up in may 
And it may be something that gives you just enough, you give just enough notice to it to, to refocus your point of attraction. It can be one of those things, you know how people say bad things happen in threes? It can be getting to the point where your sensory acuity and your acuity with your own personal vibration, your energy vibration, is so good that it doesn't take you three things. You see one thing and you go, time to time to shift because I'm starting to attract things I don't want. And if I get into the weeds with this, I'm going to continue to attract two more at least before I really decide enough is enough. So some of you, this may be kind of a petty thing at work. It may be just some aggra smaller aggravations with a neighbor or something like that. But it's not like Dateline worthy. It's not the neighbor from hell that puts you on the international news or national news. It's more of just like, God, I wish they'd quit parking so close to my house and or parking in my lawn or whatever. It's more of that lower level stuff. So the good news is, you know, when you start to look at this month in general, it's really pretty. I mean, you've got a very mature energy here, very powerful energy field. I mean, with the magician and judgment, that's crazy, um, crazily good. So love to see the magician, you know, it's transformative energy and it is a card of law of attraction. You're definitely manifesting with this. And so it is a card of having the feeling first. That's the, the key, the secret to, to manifesting quicker is, is feeling like you already have it. So with this, the bottom of the card shows the white, um, not irises, they're lilies, excuse me, white lilies, and those represent honesty. The red roses represent desire, but they are the manifestations cultivated in the garden of the mind. So it's really about you knowing. You've got a powerful energy here. You're more powerful than you realize, Libra. I do feel like you have almost like a spell cast over someone here. Um, it's a love interest. You know, they cannot stop thinking about you. So if it's somebody that you've broken up with, I feel like it's given them a lot of heartache. And if they broke up with you, they regret it terribly. I will say that. They do want a reconciliation with you. For others of you, though, this is also about going out and creating new opportunities with work. Some of you are going to have a great idea here and it's time to move forward with it because you can't catch a struggle when you're the magician. The magician has is literally a magi and so it's not it's not stage magic though. It's really the magic of the universe and having those that access to those miracles, right? And so it's so above so below bringing heaven to earth. It's all within you. So you've got the King of Cups and also beautiful energy, very mature energy and love. This is somebody that can make a commitment and it's on both sides. It is a committed love interest here. It's also loving your life. It's loving things around you. And so with this, you draw in more and more and more. It's a, it's like, um, you know, you, you start rolling a snowball down a hill and it just collects other snow. It collects love though. This is that the collector of hearts, I guess. So with the, with the King of Cups, though, you feel a good connection to people around you, work, you know, the pesky neighbor even, you may have some love for them. Um, and certainly um, a romantic interest. You've got romance here big time. So with this, be open to it. Be open to the possibilities. And if you say, I have no idea who this could be, it's, this is a card, too, of self-development. So as you work on yourself, you invest in yourself, and it doesn't matter what you choose. You could find new spiritual teachers you've never heard of. And maybe you've gotten a little tired of one and you say, I'm going to find out some others that are similar. Who else teaches about this stuff? And the next thing you know, you're so ingrained in this positive, uplifting teaching. There they are. So you've got judgment here. And judgment is really... Um, a wonderful card. It's it's Archangel Gabriel blowing that horn of ascension. It's it's making a decision to move forward with somebody here. It's a time of forgiveness, of review, letting go of the past and getting on with the future. It's also letting go of the confines of the ego and moving more into the spiritual realm. It's it's definitely acceptance though, past experience, but you've got wisdom here and understanding. You're, you're, this is self-mastery. You're breaking free of the limited ego mind. And it's like this great awareness. It brings this unashamed, 
true self and a connection that's just beautiful with who you really are. So for you, there may be somebody, like I said, who's waiting for you. Um, and whether it's somebody's got you on their mind, I just keep getting that. They do. They want a relationship. If they haven't come forward, I wouldn't be worried about them because they're here and they're definitely wanting a relationship. But I feel like they're waiting for something. Um, but with this, it really is a powerful energy field, very mature energy as the second to last major arcana. So the beginning of June invites in a little bit of insecure energy here. And so it can be somebody um, with that five of wands. Again, that's very immature energy, especially in this reading where there's so much maturity. So for some of you, you're going to handle it very easily and with grace and with dignity and a lot of class. And there's nothing that somebody like this can do. When you go high, they have nothing. They have nothing to reach you. So it may be somebody who talks about you. I do get that. It's kind of some slanderous talk that's really unfounded. And it's like completely out of nowhere. So be aware of that. In June, there may be a kind of a conflict that takes you by surprise. Some of you may choose not to spend time with certain people if you know they're like that. And you go, well, I'm not going to take my chances. I don't really enjoy them anyway because that's all they ever do. So for some of you, you use your own free will and apply this knowledge and you don't you don't get into a problem with it. So you might go, huh, that was weird. I remember the Seven of Swords being there. You watch it in June and you go, I think I know what that was and I diverted it. So the Nine of Cups shows up and it's wish fulfillment. It's a beautiful energy. It's reciprocity. I do feel like you may be given a small gift in here into the month of June. Somebody does something nice. I do see somebody knitting. And it might be somebody older who like likes to knit those little pot holder things. And it's just like a very sweet gesture. It may not be specifically that, but it's kind of like on that level where it's just somebody that just kind of uplifts you. And so I do laugh a little bit because it's just very cute. And so I don't think it's going to be the, the new Maserati as the gift, but I do feel like it lifts your heart, your soul, your spirit. And you've got an energy here too, because you're in that powerful magician energy, you've got a feeling of pride. It's like you feel good. You step out and you know you're you're there, you know, you know that you've done the stuff, you've you've put in the work, you feel good about how you look. Maybe you've done some tweaking to your nutrition here over the past couple of months and done some things just to clean everything up. And so it feels good. It's like this breath of fresh air into June. Now, you do have this Nine of Swords, and I feel like it's connected to the page. I do feel like there's somebody out there that does have some anxiety, but it's more around you. I don't feel like this is vice versa, like you're worried about them. Or if you are, stop it, because you don't need to be. So with this, it is the end of a cycle. But it's also, they also try to tell you that you are protected, and that you do have the energy the universe is wanting to interact with you. So you don't have to do anything alone. You're never alone. You always have access to this beautiful energy field because it's in you. You are it. There's no way to separate except through the mind. And so with this, meditate, quiet your mind, listen to some, you know, if it, hypnosis helps you, listen to it. All that calming stuff can really be of help so that you don't get caught up in this energy and create more situations that stress you out. Um, so with the Page of Swords, he's the internet spy. There's definitely some internet spying going on here. Some of you, if it's a new relationship, you may decide, and that might be the anxiety, you may decide to try a dating app. And I feel like if it is that for you, it doesn't come easily. It's not like, oh, I, you know, I just want to put myself out there. It's, it's got, there's like, who's going to see me? That kind of thing. But I do feel like for others of you, it's like I said, somebody's got you on their mind and they're poking around trying to figure out any opening they can take here. Um, I don't feel like they're overzealous, though. I just feel like they want to do things right and they're trying to figure out the best way to do it, especially if it's a reconciliation. I, they don't want to screw it up this time. And I know it's going to be hard to trust them. I just can feel it. Um, part of it is them and the way that they are with this. They're so worried about not being trusted. They're like manifesting mistrust. But anyway, you can't control them. You can, though, manifest trust. Absolutely. Now, for others of you, in terms of work, too, there may be some research going on here. There might be something new that you look up that really helps you in terms of your job and career. 
Um, and I know that's kind of random, but it did come in. So into July, you've got a beautiful energy here with the star. It's all about healing and self-care. It's taking care of yourself. Go to that salt cave if you keep driving past it and thinking, I'm interested in one of those. I wonder what they do in there. Go relax a little bit. Let yourself breathe. Breathe easily. It's wish fulfillment. So what you want is on the way. It's your heart's desire. And they don't tease you. This isn't like, tarot is not like a matador with a cape pulling the cape away. You know, it's really about telling you it's available to you. You've got the energy right here. Meditate. This is a card of meditation and quieting the mind and getting into that deeper connection with spirit. You know, she stands on the pool of consciousness. She balances with her foot. And again, this is another one where it's about bringing those higher realms into, you know, into into earth, okay? You've got wish fulfillment here multiple times. So um, allow it to be, allow it to be so. Know that you're worth it. And know that anything that's available is available to you. It's not like it's just to certain people. We all can do it. It's just a matter of beliefs. So the Queen of Wands, um, this is passion. And so in July, you've got a passionate energy. You're looking good, you're feeling good. And you're putting yourself out there. And so you're connecting with loyal people, though, and definitely being admired here. Um, she's not afraid to take a risk. So, again, if it's connecting with an intra love interest, there's nothing that's going to stop this. The Queen of Wands, though, is very passionate. Um, she's an energy, too. Like, they, when they drew the card, they made her knees be apart intentionally to signify, um, you know, sexual uh, activities going on there. So they have an they had an interesting sense of humor back then, I guess, or an interesting way of showing you what that means. But with this, it's definitely a passionate energy. And it's mature, though. I mean, it's not just out and about sleeping around kind of energy. Um, there's definitely an, um, this, like I said, this take charge and go out and, and create that life that you want because it's yours to have. So the devil shows up. And I tell you, my first inclination is whoever this is, they do think about you a lot and they feel a little bit though like they have a lack of power in this situation and because you have the magician here too i do feel like you have a lot of power over them in some way this also can be a card of um sexual activities as well and so the only thing with this you got to be careful of is sometimes there's an imbalance in it you know it's almost like using sex to get something some kind of leverage although i don't feel like that's a hugely important energy in this but I do want to acknowledge it in the card it's also about letting go of limiting beliefs and old patterns so it's time to attract new patterns let go of this because it just goes in this circular manner that doesn't get to the point quite to where you want it to be so it's any old beliefs that have been installed in you in the way it's time to let go of those and especially with the star here it's such a beautiful healing energy it brings in new opportunities, new belief systems that bring you towards that freedom, that self-mastery. So again, you got meditation. You get probably get sick of hearing about it. But with the Four of Swords, you let go of the fight. You don't attend any fights you're invited to. You let go. You go in peace. You get yourself centered again. You've got a rebirth here in terms of that spiritual, emotional, mental, mental and physical unity there's a rebirth happening here and this always reminds me of the phrase knock and the door will open asking it is given so quieting your mind and asking and you can give timelines um there's a book by pam grout called e squared and she gives quite a few processes that you can use uh, experiments i think she calls them and it's really about one of them is about giving 48 hours to the universe i want to see this and there it shall be so in August, you're going to have some secrets come out with the moon. Information secrets get revealed. Whoever this is, they are, come out, come out from, from wherever you are because here they come. Again, though, this also features the pool of consciousness, okay, the seat of the soul. And it's just a good reminder that all things manifest from the soul level, okay? That's really where your power is. It's not the force manifesting. All things that are sustainable and that really are your heart's desires come from deep within. It's not that, um, you know, that solar plexus level or hope manifesting that we tend to get into when we get scared. 
So we let the sun be our guide. The moon mirrors the sun. And so we let the sun be our guide. You stand on the sunlight of the spirit. And it can be a time of high emotions. So let them go, let them flow with this. And so you've got, again, talk about releasing resistance with the hanged man. You've got so many cards about meditation and being still and just being in this flow, be in flow. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcana here. So quite a few. And so this also can be the card of the poet, of the artist. Of It's a very also a very compassionate, sweet energy. So you may find somebody gives you a little love note or they do something nice. I see somebody with like a cup of um, like a latte or something with a heart in it in a cute little white mug. It's like in a cafe. So it's that sort of thing where they just do nice little touches. And it's also about changing your perspective. You know, so be, be open to new opportunities. Be open to a relationship with somebody from the past because it is here. And with the Six of Wands, it shows up again. It's a card of nostalgia. It's a card of very, very sweet, though. It's um, this sort of nostalgic longing. It's a sentimental longing. And it's it's wanting this happy time. It's wanting to nurture and care for one another. And it's also, I feel like, too, within, within work, too, you also have an area of just not wanting any conflict, stepping away from conflict, and it brings in more fun wherever you go. There's fun here. And so with the Eight of Wands, these are the arrows of love in the tarot. And so they are moving forward. There's communication here. You're definitely going to get communication. And it it's going to be more direct. I feel like where the beginning, it was more of watching and trying to figure things out. Here it go, goes direct and it's time to talk. It's time to put their heart on the line or yours or vice versa. It's time to put it out there and say, where is this going? And it moves forward. I mean, it's beautiful energy. So let's see what the angels have to say here for you, Libra. And then we'll get a message from Louise. I do like those since she's departed. It sort of feels like an extra message from spirit when we hear from Louise. Just to think of all those messages you know, that she wrote, and they're from her book. And let's see about, You Can Heal Your Life, that's the name of the book. All right, so you've got forgiveness, all right? So whatever it is here, you know, there's some little drama things going on, and just letting go of those with ease will serve you, but anything bigger too, we almost look at it as a new connection. You have abundance here. So there's definitely, you've got communication coming forward. And there's abundance always in the magician and even the nine of cups. They say no need to worry. So anything in here that may have given you some pause, it may just be a, a little bit of a warning. Um, because you've got in the near future, things are coming forward. And you've got a yes. And I feel like I've had very few of those in all these readings. So... Life loves you, Louise Hay. I am worthy of my own love. Write a love note to yourself. What is it that you most need or want to hear? So even writing those down and feeling it like you're on the receiving end, that's the magician energy. That's a great activity for the magician to bring that forward and feel like it's even from someone else, how much they love you, how much they care for you. It's all available to you, Libra. So good things are coming for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.